A pink grasshopper called a shield-back locust is endemic to the quartz outcrops in the Northern Cape and is also found on one of the Karsten farms along the Orange River. When the shield-back locusts were identified, the outcrops where they occurred were demarcated as conservation areas. Karsten undertakes thorough environmental impact assessment studies on all their farms before agricultural development takes place. Special care is taken to protect the natural animal life on the farms, especially where they form an integral part of the surrounding environment. Where development does occur, nature conservation is practiced wherever possible. The actual geographical extent of Karsten's farms is far greater than the area used for fruit production. Great care is taken not to disturb the natural biodiversity. Management practices have been implemented to monitor the ecology of the undeveloped parts of the farms in order to ensure that these areas remain undisturbed. The conservation of the shield-back locust serves as an example of the environmental sensitivity that Karsten brings when developing their farms. These practices are also followed in other areas in South Africa where the Karsten Group practices sustainable fruit farming. The same sensitivity applied to the natural environment is also applied in their farming methods with Karsten also taking special care of soil quality. We believe a healthy soil leads to a healthy plant which leads to healthy people. There's also an old saying that says what goes on beneath the soil goes on above the soil. Now our team of experts spends a lot of time in the soil to make sure that our plants are happy and that the environment they grow in is, uh, is perfect for sustainable and optimum production. A uh, soil profile is one of the best tools for any farmer to look at what goes on beneath the soil surface and to monitor plant and root health. Before we start any new developments, we, uh, we look at a lot of soil profiles and we do a detailed soil survey to choose the best piece of land that will give the optimal production. In an established orchard like this one, we uh, use a soil profile to, uh, to look at, at soil roots because a plant uh, takes, um, takes up all its nutrients and water through its root system and we want a maximum root system. We use the, secondly, we use a soil profile to identify problems like compaction and thirdly, uh, to monitor our irrigation scheduling program. Different qualities of the soil, such as production capacity, are tested. In order to improve the soil, soil testing is undertaken every three years. Compost is analyzed, plant analysis is done, and water quality is tested to determine the need for the addition of compost and leaf feeding programs. As a company, we have a holistic approach about plant nutrition, and that includes fertilizers, foliar sprays, and organic material. Our soils are naturally very low in organic carbon and we have to apply a lot of organic material to increase the natural state of our soils. Karsten's primary concerns are food safety and quality. Pests are monitored by means of trapping and spraying is only done when thresholds are exceeded. Experienced personnel are used to do the spraying of orchards and vineyards. In order to ensure fruit production according to the highest international standards, only chemicals that leave minimal or no residue on the fruit are used. The spraying program is reviewed and improved annually, particularly by using the latest biological products. Custom-built chemical stores are located on every farm and very close record holding is done. All chemicals are handled, stored, transported, mixed and sprayed according to AFCASA regulations and protective clothing is supplied by the farm to workers working with chemicals. All these principles are applied to ensure the production of export quality fruit. No fruit production, however, is possible without water. 
Irrigation is the heart of our business and because our area has such high demands in our plants, accurate irrigation scheduling is non-negotiable. There's a fine line between over and under irrigation and our job is to make sure we give the right volume of water to the plant on the right time. In order to achieve this, moisture probes are used in the vineyards and orchards to monitor the soil water content. All farms record climate information using their own weather stations. In order to irrigate the vast production areas, water has to be pumped across long distances. Vast volumes of energy are needed to accomplish this. With the increase in electricity costs, good practices are needed to ensure the economic use of electricity. We use electricity mainly for irrigation of vast areas and we also use electricity to cool down our product to get it uh, to a state where we can export it to the, to the international markets. And with the rising in the cost of electricity, uh, it became more and more important to manage electricity in a very effective and efficient way. Peter suggested that an energy manager be appointed to monitor the use of electricity on the farms and to ensure that electricity is used wisely. An energy manager was appointed. And today, Karsten are not only saving on costs, but also strive to reduce the carbon footprint of its operations. And up till now, there was huge savings in the company of the amount of electricity and also in the efficiency of the cooling systems and the irrigation systems. Today, Michael Holland Mutter, the energy manager, and his team ensure that the Karsten operations are run as energy efficiently as possible. One of the improvements was to ensure that irrigation only takes place outside peak hours. We have changed the time so that pumping can be done outside peak periods. Enough energy is saved to burn nearly 3,000 hot plates per hour. Each pump station has been modified to allow for the regulation of power in order to save electricity. All cars and electrical motors and pumps are monitored for maximum efficiency and we are in the process to change all our pump stations to solar power in the future. In some of the pack houses on the farms, translucent roofing is used, allowing the sun to provide sufficient light during working hours, eliminating the need for electric lighting. Solar geysers have been installed in all the farm workers' homes. The company installed 365 solar water heaters and in the winter we use timers that switch off during peak hours. Enough saving for more than 500 hot plates. Training is given to farm workers on how to use electricity more efficiently. This allows workers to save money on their own electricity use. Sustainable farming to the Karsten Group means respecting and conserving the biodiversity of nature, applying and managing fertilization, irrigation and pest control appropriately and in an eco-friendly way, using natural resources efficiently, saving energy and reducing the carbon footprint of its operations. Karsten believes that through these aims they can farm sustainably, and create a healthy environment in order to produce world-class fruit for the international market. And at the end you want people to work in an environment which is uh, positive and uplifting.